everybody. I wanted to do a quick overview of how to complete this discussion. This is a pretty valuable assignment and it's worth 50 points. Um, there are several questions down here and you're gonna do, uh, there's basically three stages to how to complete this assignment. The first, you're gonna choose one of, uh, you're, gonna, you're gonna write a response to these three questions. You're not choosing one, you're answering all three, but you're gonna write basically a paragraph about each one. So a three paragraph response. You will then post those responses. Those posts become visible to all of the other students in your class. Then what you're going to do is once you post, you should then see all of the other posts from your peers. You will not see those posts until after you write your own. Okay, then after writing your own response, we're down here now, you need to do the following. You need to choose at least two of your peers and read their responses. Now, we would, I would love it if you read multiple responses, but the requirement is for you to read two. And after you read two, you're going to write a comment on two other peer responses. And that comment needs to accomplish the following criteria. First, you need to demonstrate that you read and understood their response. So you either paraphrase or you call back to something that they mentioned specifically, but you say something in your comment that indicates that you read what they actually wrote. Okay, you further the conversation by asking a relevant question. So if they wrote something and it causes you to think of a question, you need to ask them that question. And then the right thing to do would be explain what you anticipate the answer being. And that way it's like actually having a discussion with somebody. It's not just uh, short, short, brief sentences without any elaboration. Okay, then you need to, or you could, so you're, you're going to demonstrate that you read, you're going to ask a question, or if a question doesn't come to mind, maybe something comes to mind that you can explain. So you're going to further the conversation by explaining something that others may not have thought of. Okay, what you are not going to do is simply agree or disagree. I agree with your comment. Great point is not a good, is not a good response. You will get zero points for a response like that. Okay, disagreeing with somebody, um, I've, I hope that people disagree and that you actually start a conversation, um, but doing it in a polite way. And that's, you know, the goal here is that we're going to try not to offend people, but we're also going to choose to not be offended. Okay. Um, your comment, though, cannot simply be the disagreement. It has to be a disagreement with explanation about why you're disagreeing. So, you need to agree or disagree and then add something to the conversation. Okay, and then as always, maintain the expectations of respect for yourself and for others. So even though it's digital and it's online, you're still in the classroom in this environment. And so the way that you speak to each other should reflect that. Okay, that's the second step. First step, you write your own response, three paragraph response. Second step, you comment on somebody's response with a valuable comment that furthers the conversation. Your third step is you're going to respond to a peer's comment. So somebody else writes a response, then the peers comment, then you're going to interact with a comment on a comment. Okay. So same, same rules. You're going to further the conversation, but that actually is going to mirror a real conversation. So we don't get the opportunity to have these discussions in class. So we're going to have them online. And so you're going to write a response, you're going to comment on a response, and then you're going to comment on a comment. And if nobody comments on your response, that's fine. You can go and comment on the comments in another response. Okay, I've used that word a lot and hopefully it makes sense. But those are the three things. Respond, comment on a response, comment on a comment. Okay, follow the instructions, make sure that you meet the criteria by the deadline. All right, thanks, good luck.